हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सुरेंद्र जैन मास्टर टीचर इन वेदांतु आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग यू दी सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ जेई एडवांस 2019 दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर एट फ्रॉम पेपर वन फ्रॉम द टॉपिक सॉल्यूशन ऑफ ट्रायंगल वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर जेई एडवांस्ड वी एवरी ईयर सी मोर देन वन और टू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक लेट अस सी वॉट दिस क्वेश्चन इज इन अ नॉन राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल पी क्यू आर लेट स्मॉल पी स्मॉल क्यू स्मॉल आर डी नोट दी लेंथ ऑफ साइड अपोजिट टू एंगल्स एट पी कॉमा क्यू एंड आर रिस्पेक्टिवली The median from R meets the side of uh, side PQ at S. The perpendicular from P meets the side QR at E, and RS and PE intersect at O. If small p is root three, small q is one, and the radius of the circumcircle of triangle PQR equals one, then which of the following options is are correct? They are talking about length RS, area of triangle SOE, radius. of in circle of triangle pqr and length oe let us first solve this question then we will see what could be the answers so we are given triangle pqr and its circum radius is 1 so let me call this circum radius by r dash because already capital r is given in the question so r dash is given to us as 1 now the side length p is given to us as root 3 so using sine rule we can find sin p directly by the formula p upon 2 r dash p is root 3 r dash is 1 so this will be root 3 by 2 similarly sin q can also be found by q upon 2 r dash q is 1 upon 2 now these two relations tells us that p could be either 60 degree or 120 degree similarly q can be equal to 30 degree or 150 degree now if you take q to be 150 then the values of p and the values of p either 60 or 120 the sum will exceed 180 so triangle will not be possible so this is ruled out now if i take q to be 30 and p as 60 then sum of two side two angles will be 90 other third angle will be also 90 but it is given that it is non right angle triangle so this p is equal to 60 is also ruled out so what we have now is p is equal to 120 degree q is equal to 30 degree so using angle sum the remaining angle r will r will also be 30 degree so it is actually isosceles triangle with the two equal sides at pq and pr like this please see we have found this angle q to be 30 degree we have found this angle r also to be 30 degree we have found this angle to be 120 degree the length small p opposite to capital p it is root 3 q here is 1 and opposite to r also it will be 1 okay so this is how our triangle will look like now they have given median from r meets the side pq at s so s is here midpoint and perpendicular from p meets the side qr at e so this is 90 degree it is meeting at e but because it is isosceles triangle so pe is also median so this o is actually point of intersection of two medians so we can say o is actually the centroid of triangle pqr okay now let us see what uh, what are the things that we are supposed to find so first one is length of rs length of rs means length of median to find length of median we can either use apollonius theorem or we can use uh, cosine rule also but if we remember the formula of apollonius theorem or apollonius formula for length of median that would be the best method and this for rs will be please listen this will be rp square plus rq square is equal to 2 times rs square plus p s square now rp length is 1 rq length is root 3 so it will be 3 here is equal to 2 times r s square we have to find and p s square 
will be 1 upon 4 half square 1 upon 4 so this 2 r s square would be 4 minus 1 upon 2 that comes out to be 7 upon 2 so we get r s to be equal to root 7 upon 2 after taking under root so the length of this median is root 7 upon 2 let us see what they have given yeah they have also given the same thing rs is equal to root 7 upon 2 so a is correct option let us see other options as well i will come to this area part in the end let us check uh, the radius of in circle of triangle pqr now we know that p is root 3 q and r both are equal to 1 1 area of triangle can also be found and this will be 1 upon 2 into you can take length coming from uh, angle P which are 1 and 1 only and angle between these two sides sin 120 here because this is 1 here this is 1 here and this angle is 120 so you can write area of triangle by using this it will be root 3 by 4 okay now to find in radius let us say r dash the best one could be delta upon s because we now know delta that is root 3 upon 4 and s is 1 upon 2 into 1 plus 1 plus root 3 so here it will be 2 plus root 3 okay so we get it here i think 1 upon 2 into if i rationalize I will get 1 here and root 3 into 2 minus root 3 here. So this is the final answer for this in radius which will be root 3 upon 2 into 2 minus root 3. Let us see if this is given or not given. Root 3 upon 2 into 2 minus root 3. So this is also correct. So in radius here is you know uh, root 3 upon 2 into 2 minus root 3. So C is also correct. Now length OE length OE let us see what is length OE OE is actually one third of I am sure you will understand it because O is centroid OE is one third of the median length PE okay and this PE can be obtained easily by doing PQ into sin 30 because this angle is 30 degree PQ sin 30 now PQ is 1, sin 30 is 1 upon 2. So our answer comes out to be 1 upon 6. So this is the answer for uh, this OE length. Let us see if this is given or not. Yeah, length OE is also given as 1 upon 6. Okay, now this part is remaining area of triangle SOE. So let us do it on separate slide. We want to know the area SOE. S is midpoint of PQ, E is midpoint of QR and O is the centroid. Now I will tell you few important things then we will start solving. Suppose I take midpoint of PR as F and I join S with F, F with E and S with E we get a triangle and we know it it's very important thing that this triangle will be similar to the bigger triangle and its area will be one fourth of the bigger triangle PQR okay and also O is the centroid of smaller triangle SEF also O is centroid of triangle SEF also so we know this property if we join this centroid to S and with E so this area SOE area of triangle SOE would be one third of area of triangle SFE SFE triangle SFE okay and this SFE is one fourth of the bigger triangle one fourth of the area of triangle PQR which we have found in the previous part only when we were finding the in radius I think it was uh, root 3 upon 4 so if I put root 3 upon 4 here we get root 3 upon 48 as the 
area of this triangle S O E. Let us see what they have given. They have given area to be root 3 upon 12, which is not correct because I am getting root 3 upon 48. So only correct answers are A, C and B. B is incorrect. This completes the solution of this question. I hope you have liked this method of this question. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for next question. Bye.